Just Gospel Spotlight, your source for local artists and event promotions. With your host, Uncle Flo in the mix. It's 7.30 out there, and you know what time it is. It's Just Gospel Spotlight right here on KEBNRadio.com with your boy Uncle Flo. That's right, I said Just Gospel Spotlight. Yeah, last week we probably played another show. We had some technical difficulties, but I'm back in the building. That's right, your boy Uncle Flo, the hottest gospel radio show on the planet. And and let me, let me uh, make something clear. We have featured the most female gospel artists than any other station out there. You know I gotta brag about that every once in a while. But anyway, every every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. right here on KEBNRadio.com it's your boy Uncle Flo right here on KEBNRadio.com Listen, my program director, I think he's out of town uh, or probably playing games on me, but anyway we're gonna do the show without him. I like having him here so we can, you know, do some jokes and and stuff like that. He likes to listen to the people that I interview and, and fill them out and stuff like that. But, you know, he's not here, so I got to roll solo tonight. But guess what? I got somebody in a building tonight that y'all going to love. Her name is Jackie Hampton. All the way from... Jackie, you tell him. <laughs> Kingsport, Tennessee. Kingsport, Tennessee. And the reason why I had her tell y'all is because I forgot. So charge it to my head and not my heart. I'm gonna be real spiritual with y'all today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, from Kingsport, Tennessee. It's your girl Jackie Hampton. She's a part of the Queens of the Mic. She's got that Christian neo soul sound. You know, I had to have her on here. We're gonna play some of her music. How you doing tonight? I am wonderful. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It don't matter how I'm doing tonight because you you're the guest, so we got to make sure that you're doing okay. I got to be doing okay whether I like it or not because I'm the host of the show. You know, it's so like being a pastor. You know, Sunday morning you can't Sunday morning you can't be sick and you can't have issues because you got to preach, right? When you're a pastor, yeah, so absolutely. when you're a radio host, yeah, you can't a, have I'm no a, issues. I'm a PK. I know that firsthand. Well, then you. Well, then uh, my kids are uh, HK. Then they're host kids. So, 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 you know, every once in a while, you know, we feel kind of, I was actually tired today. Let me tell you what I did today real quick. I got up this morning and did some promotion. You know, we got the mixtape out, Rise of the Queens. And uh, that's 11 various gospel, female gospel rap artists on one mixtape. Go and get it at just gospelentertainment.com and on thequeensofthemic.com. Okay, so I did some promotion. And I barbecued. And I did a live video while I was barbecuing. Um, I did some beef ribs. I did some beef sausage. And I did some chicken strips. Okay, golden brown, not burnt. Barbecue sauce, just flaming. You, you, you hear what I'm saying, Jackie? So, the description um, was just so beautiful. What? The description was so beautiful and so poetic. Oh, I, well, I'll tell you what. If you would have saw the live video, you would have saw how visual that it was because everybody else got everybody else got to see how beautiful they were you know they got to see how I flip every all every piece of meat over at a certain time at the same time so it doesn't burn you know I went to school on them I did some cooking one on one think about doing a cooking show I'm with it, I'm with it. Okay, that's what's up. So anyway, I was tired, and the moral of the story is you got to do what you got to do no matter what. But listen, this is your boy, Uncle Flo, right here on KBNRadio.com. Just Gospel Spotlight. Listen, we got a lot coming up, man. We got the mixtape that just dropped, Rise of the Queens, uh, hosted by DJ Key Touch out in D.C. We got that coming up June the 4th. 
We got Girls on Fire hosted by Lyric. And we got uh, Latoria coming in. She's over there in the UK right now. I think she's back. But when she gets back June the 4th, she's going to be with us. She's going to come out and rock the house. LaRue Hill is in the comment section on my Facebook live feed. Me and him started out on gospel rap back in the 90s. Love you, bro. And then on July the 2nd, guess where we're going to be at, Jackie? I can't wait. Oh, my God. We're going to be at UTA, University of Texas Arlington, to perform at halftime for the Dallas Wings versus the Connecticut Sun. Yes, that's the WNBA. This is their inaugural season. This is their first season here. When I found out they were coming, I said, hmm, an all-female basketball team, we have an all-female music movement. I think that we ought to get together. And so the Lord gave us favor, and we're going to get together. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do an interview with them tomorrow at their practice game. So I'll interview a couple of the uh, players. So y'all pray for me that they allow me to interview Odyssey Sims and Skylar Diggins. They are the... Um, Star players. So anyway, that's what we got going on with the Queens of the Mic. But tonight, it's all about Jackie Hampton. And guess what? I'm going to play some of her music so y'all can sing, hear just how good she sings. This is No Way Out by Jackie Hampton right here on Just Gospel Spotlight. Yeah. Amazing occurs when a long voice cries out your name. Sometimes an anguish, but yeah, your touch always feels the same. Circumstances in life may try to fight, but nothing will extinguish this flame I have for you. So, spirit, fall down. This plan you have for me fits me perfectly. So I offer you worship, worship. I ran from you constantly, from everything, yet you still gave me purpose. So I cry out for my loudest voice, Lord God, you're so worthy, Lord God, you are everything I need to survive. I become fearless whenever your presence resides in me. I usher your spirit, Lord Yes, I enjoy your company So with my worries in tow I will always know You be there to comfort me So I cry, Spirit Spirit fall down on me This plan you have for me Fits me perfectly So I offer you worship I rip from you constantly From everything Yet you still gave me purpose So I cry out For my loudest voice Lord God you're so worthy Lord God you are everything I need to survive Lord God you are everything I need to survive Lord God you are everything I need to survive Lord God you are everything I Hey, that was No Way Out by your girl Jackie Hampton. Jackie, um, can I can I get some singing lessons? <laughs> you know, that's actually one thing that I used to do before I started recording. I used to work with singers that wanted to record that weren't voice ready yet. Uh huh. So I used to get them there, then they would record. And then come back to me, you know, just to build them up for their performances. So, hey, man, if God allows, I'd like to go back and do it, man. I know, that's right. Um, let me just give you a little a little piece of, let me see. The next song we're going to play from you is Everything I Need. So, let me, you tell me what I need to, to help my voice. Lord, you're everything I need. So, what? How long do you think it'll take you to get me where I need to be? I say 
say give me a few few weeks. We'll get you there. We'll get you there. <laughs> <laughs> a few weeks with what I just did? I thought you would have said a few years. Nah, it doesn't take me very long to get a single place <laughs> to be. Okay. The technique, uh, the technique is easy. You just got to allow yourself to <laughs> free flow. Okay. Okay. That's what you say. So anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, listen, when did we connect? And let's let's start right there. How did me and you even meet? I went through a group in Facebook, and I saw the Queens of the Mic movement, and I hit you up. The Queens of the Mic movement. What? What is that? That movement is no, it's bananas. Because I've never seen anybody push a female Christian artist like the movement that you have going. So. I went into it and I did like a little bit of research. It's like an all-female team of the dopest Christian artists that I've ever seen. I look at it and I see that it's all-female. I was lit. Because you have the Lecrae's and the Bizzles and the Sevens, but you don't have anybody out there that's really repping hardcore for the females. So the first artist that I saw from you was Lyric, and I was lit. I was lit. She wow. is so amazing. And you know, I manage Lyric as well. Yeah, she is dope. Okay, okay. And uh, the Queens of the Mic movement just kind of captured me, so I had to hit you up. Right, so after that, then uh, where do we go from there? I sent you a couple of my songs, and uh, one of which was co-written by uh, my friend Star the Poet that has that verse on No Way Out. And um, I asked him, you know, because I was nervous about sending him my music because I haven't recorded in years. And he was like, man, pray about it and then send it. And that's what I did. And God connected us, man. Wow, wow, wow. So, you know, after I heard your music, uh, you know, I've, I've been dealing with really strictly rappers. And we have one... Uh, artist Notori Farrell. Hey, what's up, girl? Um, <laughs> she raps and sings. And so when I heard your music, I'm like, you know what? I need to really get behind her and um, help promote her because she's got like a Christian Neo soul sound. Y'all heard that song, No Way Out. I just played it. And I was like, yeah, we, we, we need to really get behind her. So listen, I know that you're on the website, on both websites, so y'all can go see her at JustGospelEntertainment.com and TheQueensOfTheMic.com uh, to hear her music. But we're going to do some other things with you. I just need you to be patient, all right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about your background as, a, as an artist. How did you get started and, and kind of condense it a little bit? Okay. I honestly have been writing music and poetry since I can hold a pen. Mm. And um, it's always been, you know, secular, something difficult, something, you know, just something that I don't think God had a plan for me for. So I ran from every bit of Christian music that he wanted to put me in. And I had gotten um, to a point where I could perform the secular music that I was writing as a teenager and it just never went anywhere <laughs> so um i honestly i'll say about 2013 i just sat down and i said okay god whatever you want me to write right now the pen is in my hand make me write mm. you know what i mean and uh i actually met my friend star the poet that was on the the no way out single and i sang to him what i wrote and he honestly was like, you wrote that by yourself. Nobody helped you, no team, no nothing. And I was like, yeah, that's what God told me to write. He was like, you have a gift. And if you don't do anything with it, I'll be so disappointed because God anointed you. And um, since then, it's just been nonstop writing and recording. I just kind of finally followed the anointing. Wow. Wow. So what has been your experience as... A female artist. I know it's kind of rough out there for female gospel rap artists, but I I, I don't know. It's like a, a, a like my mom used to say: six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. Uh, the female gospel rap artists have it hard because it's a male dominated 
industry, but then on your end, there's a lot of female singers. So kind of talk about that, that, that struggle. That's interesting because I see that there's a lot of Christian singers. Well, I'll say gospel singers. I don't find anybody that does what I do. And there was honestly one woman that did, but I haven't heard any new music from her. Her name was Delisa McClendon. And um, her music, um, India Ali's music, Lauren Hill's music, that was Christian. And they left, you know what I mean? So I see a lot of women that are, you know, trying to be Karen Clark Shear to Kiara Shear, but, and I see a lot of women that are trying to be Beyonce. Uh-huh. But there has been, there hadn't been anybody that has stepped into the role of, you know, the Christian neo soul. And I think that, you know, God, God always had that plan for me. I just ran from it because I was scared of doing the work. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants the success, but don't nobody want to put the work in. So I finally just said, you know, let's go. Okay. And I, and I, I've actually found that it's a lot easier to do this type of music in this genre than anything else. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I I think that you can sing, but, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but my audience, they are not going to really approve of you until they hear more than one song. So I got to play everything I need so they can kind of let it soak in their spirit. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. That'll work. Hey, this is Everything I Need by your girl Jackie Hampton right here. On Just Gospel Spotlight. You know what it is. That was Everything I Need by Jackie Hampton. Now, that's two songs, y'all. I mean, that was two songs that that were good songs. You heard her voice, so I know my audience. I know y'all have accepted her, you know, because I've already accepted her, and I told y'all I did, but then I had to play two songs because y'all always say I got to play more than one song before y'all accept somebody. So I played two songs, and so now what? (laughs) Yeah. 
Right here on Just Gospel Spotlight. Everything I Need and No Way Out by Jackie Hampton, the Christian Neo soul singer. Man, that's a smooth, smooth song you got, sister. You go to JustGospelEntertainment.com and you will hear her song as soon as you click on the homepage. Sometimes I just go click on the homepage, you know, not just because it's my site, but because her music is on there. And when it, when it come on, I just be, you know, I be having that Ray Charles rock, you know, real cool. <laughs> And it just, <laughs> that's just, that's just how I do. And then when I click over to uh, thequeensofthemike.com, then I almost fall off the bed because, you know, it's banging, you know, with rap and stuff. So, you know, I have to uh, uh, get my cane, you know, make sure I don't fall, you know. So when I go to, you know, thequeensofthemike.com. But anyway, I, I heard you got some shout outs. You want to shout some people out? Yes, I do. Um, in 2015, last year, I was recruited to be a part of an anti-venom experience concert tour. Mm. And I have met some of the most amazing people. Um, the anti-venom experience is headlined by Star the Poet. And that tour came from his first mixtape, the anti-venom mixtape. Okay. And, um, from that tour, I have met uh, this Christian DJ who is an ordained minister from North Carolina. Coolest person I ever met, DJ Best Believe. In Asheville, North Carolina. DJ also, Best Believe. DJ Best Believe. <laughs> I love saying his name. But um, also a singer and rapper. Her name is Virtuous. She comes from Salisbury, North Carolina. Virtuous. She is amazing. She is amazing. That's my sister, man. Can't nobody tell me different. I know that's also, right. Also, Jeremy DeBose, also known as Jane Neal, from El uh, Elberton, Georgia, if I said that right. And um, also our drummer, DJ, I love you to pieces, Jordan Copas, a Christian rapper from Johnson City, Tennessee, not that far from me. And last but not least, Mr. Star the Poet, the person that gave me a microphone and a pen and let me do what I do. Wow. Now that's what's up, man. Shouting out the people that you love, the people that's been a part. You know what? I'm about to give a shout out. How about that? That's what's up. Let's go. I want to shout out. Let me see who am I going to shout out. I got to think about that for a minute. I want to shout I'm out. Thinking. I got one more. Go ahead. G get your last one off. Hurry up now because I'm a, thinking. Uh, <laughs> it's a friend of mine. Um, I actually just learned of his talent. He's a Christian rapper. He's a teenager. And when a teenage boy will stand up for God the way he does. He deserves the biggest shout out in the world. So, uh, Roberto Campbell, chaos. Bro, I see you, I love you, and I'm standing by you in your walk. I just wanted to make sure his name was heard. This dude is 17, and he spits bars better than Jay-Z for the Lord. Wow. Wow. Man, he's well, I'll tell you what. I want to send a shout out to the shower art law. That's my girl. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. I'm kind of getting emotional when I'm just thinking about talking about her. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to stay hardcore. <laughs> Y'all hear me hit the, hit my chest? You know, because she, she in the chat room, she's telling me to spit my gum out. But, you know, um, I do what I want to <laughs> do on my show. You know what I mean? Listen, Jackie Hampton, your music is beautiful. I have fun with you tonight. Listen, what can we look forward to uh, in the future with your career and your music? Well, um, Star has lined up a video shoot for No Way Out, so that'll be coming out here soon. Okay. My project is entitled The Redemption Chronicles, and it is literally telltale of... Um, the Redemption Chronicles? Who gave you the name of that? Did, did you get that from the Book of Revelation or something? No, I was asleep, and um, I was tossing and turning. It was crazy. And I was just reading a book because I just couldn't sleep. And the word redemption kept popping up. I didn't even see what book I was reading. I just grabbed it because I figured it would be asleep if I got bored with it. The word redemption kept coming up. And God, me and him, we have conversations, man. This dude was like, I redeemed you from a very, very low place. And there are people that need to hear your stories. So this is what you're going to call your project. And it just wow. came about, the Redemption Chronicles. That that is a dope name for it, man. That's deep. Man, That's deep. I've had the roughest life. Wow. And every bit of it is in this project. Wow. Well, I tell you what, and, that's uh, beautiful. 
I'm not looking to rush it because I know that what's going to be in this project is going to be hired by somebody that is either going through what I went through while making this project or is on their path to it or has been through it already. So my, my main thing is to make sure that God's message is conveyed through the full album. Um, I actually started writing a few more songs for the project and I'm going to be recording them very, very soon. And um, I'm really not looking to rush it. I'm looking at next year for the project to come out, but um, I'm still touring with the Anti-Venom Experience. And hey, if you guys would like for us to come out that way, shoot me an email through um, JackieHamptonMusic at gmail.com and we will be straight to you. Hey, y'all heard it. Jackie Hampton Music at gmail.com. Hit her up. You can also check her out at justgospelentertainment.com. You can also check her out at thequeensofthemike.com. Listen, the Queens of the Mic mixtape is out. Rise of the Queens, hosted by DJ Key Touch. June the 4th, we got Latoria coming out, hosted by Lyric. July the 2nd, Game Day at UTA. Man, that's going to be awesome. The Queens of the Mic are going to perform in Branded. The dance group led by Chastity is going to perform. I'm excited about that. Going to interview some of the players tomorrow for Just Gospel Spotlight. So y'all hear that interview. I'm going to try to interview uh, Odyssey Sims and Skylar Diggins. I'll be at the practice tomorrow at UTA. Y'all pray for me, man. We're making moves out here. We're making moves with Jackie Hampton, too. The Queens of the Mic is more than music. It's a movement. Hey, sis, I, had, I enjoyed you tonight. You gave me energy tonight. God bless you. I love your music. We're looking forward to doing something with you. We're going to bring you here and let you sing and let you do what you do. It's KBN Radio, y'all. Fia, she uh, chimed in. Listen to, listening to the show, it's always a blessing to have the owner of the radio station listen. She wants some barbecue. So uh, if we, me and my guys I don't eat it all, we might save her a little bit. But listen, next <laughs> Tuesday right here on KBNRadio.com, we'll have... Uh, Amour is going to be uh, in the building. Man, y'all, ooh, wait till y'all hear her music. She is hot. She is really hot. So check it out. We're going to have my boy D. Lou Sykes. I know I'm going to surprise him. I'm going to play his music. I saw his music in the queue. So I'm going to play it right here on Just Gospel Spotlight. We'll be back next week. Your boy Uncle Flo, this is how we do. See you later. You know why? Why? Cause a lot of folks told me don't go gospel. They told me don't do Christian rap, man. But uh, I gotta do this one. <laughs> Y'all might hear a lot of Jesus in the song. A lot of Christ, a lot of God. And every song I do for us, that's what I'm doing it for. <laughs> so for Christ, stand up. It's G music, baby. G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. Rise for the king who done died on the tree. I'm bumping G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. Rise for the king who done died on the tree. I'm bumping gospel in the church house. I let my soul work. Out. Praising so long till my tongue start to hurt Ouch, ouch See, I got the Holy Ghost, y'all Heard your team losing in the game Let me coach y'all First off, you in the wrong sport In the first place Playing for the devil Gonna get you in the worst place Bro, you been a sinner way back on your birthday But the Lord can shake Satan off you with an earthquake Watch all them sins down the drain With a hurricane But you never know when Christ coming Better hurry, man and me, Jesus is the way, and he died just for us, ain't too much I need to say, see, I bang for Christ like a crib bang blue, but it ain't about a color with me, it's about the truth, going hard in the booth, they told me don't go gospel, that made me want to go even more for my God, bro. G music coming out the speakers, beating hard, G, G music coming out the speakers, beating hard, G, G music coming out the speakers, beating hard, I'm for the king who done died on the tree. I'm bumping G music, coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music, coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music, coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music, coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music, coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music, coming out the speak
coming out the speakers, beating hard. GG music coming out the speakers, beating hard. Riding for the king, who the died on the tree. I'm bumping guys out, I flow for price. You can count the G rap, G music gospel. In the songs I speak that, preach that, tell the world where to find some peace at. Finding out in Jesus, cause he died so we can reach that. Prince of Taurus heaven, but we didn't put the streets back. Cause we in your hood, telling folks Christ will be back. You're blind and I see that, so use your ears and listen. It's more than church on Sunday to really be a Christian. I bet that hurts ya, but I had to touch ya. Man, it ain't a thing, I'm a child of God, soldier. Banging G music in my ride when I roll up. Thought it was that secular until you heard Jehovah. Fighting for my Jesus ain't that easy, but I show up. Had them boys like hold up, even gangsta show up. Tell you what I won't do, turn my back on the Lord. You can keep the rap game, platinum plaques in the war. G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. G G music coming out the speakers, beating hard. Riding for the king who done died on the tree.